You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. And you're provided by Ready Sets LLC for review. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today. I really appreciate it. I am going to check out two sets from a company called Ready Sets LLC. And thanks to them for sending these to me to check out on video. Now, in their name, Ready Sets, it's got a Z on the end, like Ready Sets. But these are actual play sets with an S. And I have the space bases in small and large. So I'm going to set both up for you today. Bring out some action figures. We will check them out in detail. Compare them side by side and have some fun. So when I come back, I will have this one out of the box and we'll take a look at it. All right, so here's how it shipped to me. Here is the main space base. The instructions, it says ready sets. See the Z in there. Space base, and then some extra pieces. There is the ramp, and then two top accent pieces. Now I was looking at the instructions, and they show you a little bit different version of the top pieces. They show the same, but it looks like I got some two different ones, and they are different on both sides. Now the cardboard itself, nicely printed gloss, as you can see with my lights. And then the thickness is pretty nice, so it's a nice heavier duty cardboard. Now it looks like this can fold either way. So when you're setting up the ramp, you know, once you pick your way, I would not fold it back because that's going to uh, loosen up probably the seam there. And you've got little door, little doorways that open and close. So let's move the ramp over there, that over there. And then, okay, so you have six steps. To complete one arrangement, there are two. See, here's the ramp, here's closing, and then you have a whole nother way to set it up. So I will show you both ways right now. Stand the playset upright and slowly open the two sides like a book. All right, let's just do it exactly like they say. Okay, so now I've opened my book. It almost naturally wants to do its thing, just the way the cardboard has been cut and glued together. Then it says, let the buildings on each side unfold. Okay, so that's these. Okay. Insert the hooks on the bottom left into the slots on the bottom right. Let me get you way down in here so you can visualize what's going on here. You see those? This is the slots and these are the hooks. So that's just gonna go right in there. Very easy to do, all right. Can't be much simpler than that. Then it says, fold down the center landing pad. Press the round Velcro dots firmly onto the corresponding Velcro dots on deck below. Okay, so look up there, Velcro dots. Then look down here, Velcro dots, okay. So I'm gonna fold this down. Now that is also held up with a Velcro dot. So press firmly, which I am doing. Now I'm getting a little resistance kickback, which I will uh, show you how to adjust, but let's finish here. And then it says, that's step four. Step five, carefully pull the control tower A down until it clips into place. So up here is control tower. Now there are little notches, one up here and one over there. Watch, it's just gonna, Clip in. Okay, so that's basically setting it up. Now, like I said, you have some resistance here. So to, to fix that, uh, you're, you could just pull this apart, okay? And then bring this down just a little to kind of relieve the tension. Okay, so bring this back up, do the same with this side. You're kind of just relieving the tension there, okay? It's basically because the cardboard joints have not been used enough. So now look, taken care of. So that's locked in, lock this in. It's a little better. Now I probably would do it a little bit more. And then when, of course, when you put a figure or two on there, it will now adjust completely. And then the top, there are slots up here. Let me give you a nice shot. Okay, and then now it doesn't say exactly which way it actually shows this going forward but let's just look at the scene itself you have a lot of screens here so i'm going to put this one on this side 
And I guess if you want it this way, you do whatever you want. It's your play set. But it does kind of look like it fits the theme that way. Then this side has this yellow can, and then the astronauts are in their spacesuits there, or just hanging there. So I think I'm going to put this one this way. Kind of looks nice with the blue there and the way that lines up. And then the ramp goes into this back section. So you put this into here. Okay, and now your ramp is set. Okay, oh, did you see that down there? There is your ramp. All right, so let's just take a look. Let me bring the camera in so you get a nice shot of the back. Okay. You see lots of cool little air tanks or different tanks in here. There's a number HT-42 there. Let me just turn this around. There's a door back here. Look, so you can open and close. So if you're doing like video work or uh, photography, you can come in at different angles. It looks like there is a door here. Okay. So I'm just kind of feeling around here. Let's get a nice shot inside. Let me back this up a little bit. Ooh, the ramp. Let me move the ramp temporarily out of the way. So you get a nice look there. And then let me bring in two lights a little bit better. That's going to light it up better. See that? Okay, there's a door in front here. There's the HT42 there. More of the tanks. That looks flammable. And then these were the doors from the other side here. You've got different windows up in the top section. The bigger one here. This actually has a screen. Let me see. Maybe I can... Bunch of screens in here that you're working. So you set a figure up there with your control panel. I do need to get you way down in there. So let me adjust the uh, tripod on my camera so I can get you a nice shot inside the lower lower level okay so this looks like a medics bay you have some platforms there you see the medical cross there see that in there and then this side let's oh there's an inner door okay so you have two doors to get through and then it almost looks like a countertop here with these uh diamond plated cabinets back there and that's about it there there's a lot of little areas let me turn this all the way around So you could, you know, play with this in either direction. Okay, all right. Oh, let me give you a shot inside from here. That give you a better look at the control panels. All right, let me do this. I want to. Um, well, let's just fold it up. How about I do that, and then I will show you the second setup here. All right. So basically, you're gonna unclip this, right? Push this up so that sticks, fold these down, and then I'm going to leave those top ones in, but I guess you don't have to, you can take them out, and then there's the ramp. All right, so, second setup, another way to set it up. Now, I need to reset my camera here one more time, so I will be right back. All right, so the other way to set it up, now, it's showing you in the position we just had it, so let me get at least close to that. Remember that? Now, now you know it, it's pretty easy. That just snaps into that, and then you pull this down. So let's just say we are in that position. Now you take this apart, you flip this backwards, and it's gonna be the other way. Turn this whole set around. Okay, and then there are these tabs here. It says, turn the space face 180 degrees, so the back is facing you with the lower left side and right side angle towards you, just like it was on the front, okay? And then, Lift the section of the space base enough to pull the middle landing pad toward you. Put the left section down again. Okay. So we're good there. Hook the left side. Okay, so there are little openings here. It looks like you have to pop out the little cardboard cutouts there. And then this side. Let's pop that one out. Okay, that is gone. And then you hook those in. All right. I think that's really it. That's it. Oh, no, there's one more step. Now you need to take this one of these. I will take this one. And you're going to, let's see, hook the left side of the landing pad and the left side. Okay, did that. Hook the right side into the right. 
Then remove one of the radar towers, fold it into a U shape, and slide the tabs into the corresponding slots at the top. Okay, like that, and like that. And that kind of holds that together. Now it looks like we'll need to relax this just a little. Just to see if we can get everything to sit better. It does. Again, I mean, with the figure on there, it'll definitely hold it down. But if you want to, if you're doing shots, then you kind of want to... There, that is perfect. Okay, so now we see it from the front. And then I guess you can leave the other one where it's at. It doesn't really say because you're just hooking one. Remove one of the radar charts for you and slide the tabs into the corresponding slots on the small end, which is this. And there you go. All right, so this looks like... I wonder if I can relax that a little. There's this extra piece here, which is holding that from relaxing it. I call it relaxing it. I don't know if that's a technical term. It's my term. Oh, and if you want to put this back on, looks like you can slide this back in here. So your ramp would be going in this way now. So it's a different look. You know, it really depends on the look you want. And maybe with the figure sitting in there, this will hold down better. Let me show you inside now. Which like, uh, which do you like better? Okay, so that is the small space base. We need to take the big space base out. So let me bring that box in. And then I will uh, set that one up for you next. All right, so now I did get two of the same set so we can see them side by side. They do have other sets. So as I'm taking this out here, what I'll do is I will put up some other pictures for you so you can learn about those real quick. And of course, I will always put links in the description right to their website so you can check them out there. All right, all the same pieces, as you can tell. Uh, just scaled differently. Now, if I compare this to one of the other top pieces, that will give you a quick idea on the size difference, okay? Look at that. Look at that. As you can see, the scale is definitely at least 50% or more larger. Right now, I would I guess I consider myself somewhat of a setup expert. So I shouldn't have to go through much here. It is tall and much bigger in my video booth, so I will try to at least keep this at one position there. All right, so this needs to stay up. There are Velcro tabs on this set as well, but they are much bigger tabs. And this is going to lock into there. Okay, well, actually, those tabs look like the same size. And now the top, once that's locked in, now you're going to take the top. Remember, just pull this down, and those other tabs will lock in there. And this one actually sits a little bit better. I won't have to relax it as much. Okay, and then, of course, now the tippy top pieces. Let's put this one here. How do you want to do it? Eh, either way, whatever you want to do. And then put this one up here. Maybe I'll put this one this way. Okay, so that is in, and then I'm not going to spin it around and do the ramp yet. I just want to kind of give you a complete shot of the whole set, so let me do that right now. All right, check that thing out. It is a giant play set, stands about 28 inches tall. I have to get the width for you, which I will do next. So let me turn this around now, show you with the ramp and then give you some measurements. All right, so there is the other side. You see now the ramp going up the back area, and then the height is about 28 and a half, and then the width, uh, more than the yardstick, so it's probably 40 inches across, which is a nice size for tons of figures and a display. So let me, uh, let me do this. Let me bring in both now. We'll check them out side by side so you can get a Nice comparison. All right, so there you go. The one on the left is about 16 inches tall. The one on the right is about 28 inches tall. The only thing I haven't done is reversed the larger one to the second setup. So let me do that to both of them right now. I'll just do that since you've seen it already once. And then 
take a look at those side by side. All right, so there they are in configuration number two. Of course, I'm not showing you the ramp side of both of these, but I think you get the idea, and we've seen them in pretty good detail. So let me do this. Let me grab some figures now and put a bunch on the small set so you get an idea of scale and the size of figures you might want to use on that one. All right, here we go. So here is a collection of figures. Some of these you have seen on video. By the way, which ones have been on video and which videos? That's a good trivia question. So I have my tallest figure here is the Star Wars figure, and that is about nine and a half inches tall. Definitely too big for this uh, space base. And I go all the way down to a Lego figure. You see him on the far right. And then I even have a stick bot in here. The stick bot pretty much will fit, but seems to be a little bit small. I'm guessing most of the figures that would work best are this size here, this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle down here in the bottom. Probably a four, four and a half inch figure. Hulk, ah, he would work, I think. He's kind of a decent size. And then I do have a large collection of plastic uh, dinosaurs and stuff like that, which would all probably work in that scale. All right, so let me move this one out of the way and set them all up on the large one so you kind of get an idea of what they look like there. All right, there you go. So this is the large space base. Now, the Star Wars figure, he's about 10 inches tall. He just barely clear, so he would work but prospectively, I think the six to eight inch figures, if you look at the bottom, Hulk, he's about uh, eight inches, he fits better. And then the thing in the top fits really nice up there. And then Michelangelo, he's a six inch uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja figure, which is uh, definitely a couple inches bigger than the four inch figure. So I think the small base works great for, say, two to four inch figures, and this works great for six, eight, all the figures in that range. But then again, it's playtime. You can do whatever you want once you get your space base, right? It's up to you how you want to play with it. So I'm going to wrap it up. I will be back. Maybe I'll do this. I'll put up some fun love shots and video here using the smaller space base, and then I'll wrap it up with you. He-Man calling Earth. He-Man calling Earth. This is Mars Control Tower. Are you there? What do you mean, He-Man? I'm on my lunch break. Sorry, Larry, to interrupt your lunch break. But as you can see through the video monitor, my muscles are bulging and I'm ready for some fighting action. What do you need me for? I was hoping you can tell me where the Mars creatures have landed. Sure, He-Man. They're in Vector 6, Quadrant 2. Thank you, Larry. I will see you on Christmas vacation. Over and out, He-Man. Where are you, Mini Transformer Tank? We must get going. Stop right there, little transforming tank buddy. I gotta get me a bigger tank someday. It looks like it's one of the giant gore creatures. He's roaring at us. It appears he's gonna fire his blue missile. Oh, it was a dud. Fire back. I think we got him. Oh, mission accomplished. Let's head back to the base. It appears we've suffered some wounded. I better call Earth. He-Man calling Earth. He-Man calling Earth. Larry, are you there? Yeah, He-Man, what's going on? Mission accomplished, Larry. All good, we've had one injured, and the giant beast was killed. That's good to hear, He-Man. By the way, Larry, can you requisition a larger transforming tank? That one seems to be a little too small for my needs. You betcha, He-Man. Larry out. Seems I'm having a hard time holding this scalpel. Hulk, I ordered a pepperoni pizza for lunch today. Pizza delivery. Hulk smash. I am Groot. All right, I am back. Uh, hopefully enjoyed that little 
video I made of He-Man at Mars Space Base, and then some of the photography I did showing you the different sections of the Space Base. Now there was one door on this side that I did not show you uh, initially, but it is there. I showed you a picture, if you caught that at the end there. And then, as you can see, I have little Space Base and big Space Base, and all the underside sections are also uh, themed with the space base theme. There's a lot in there, so you really need to explore as you play with your figures. And again, thanks for watching. I will put more information in the description area where you can get your space base or the other play sets they sell later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up.